What's up everyone, this is R from FinSuite and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. This video specifically is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can add the Nest tool into your CMS. This enables you to have CMS within CMSs and it's like a whole CMS inception. So we're in our designer and we'll go ahead and start putting in the Nest uh, tool we have here from FinSuite. Now, why do we need this tool? You see, like we mentioned a while ago, Webflow only allows one nested collection per page. I will say Webflow's nesting in their collection is already good as it is, but it only allows one per page. With this tool, we're allowed to put more than one. It allows us to have more than one nested collection. So this is the um, thing that we've been working on. This is the CMS that we've created. We have this pretty much for all of our other tutorials. If you want to learn how to make this, go ahead and go back to how to create a CMS where we show you step by step how we created this exact CMS right here. And this is pretty much the CMS that we've been using for all the tutorials um, that we've created here uh, as far as this one so far. And what we did, I actually did some work beforehand that I want to show you because it's just if we show it in the screen, it's going to take up too much time. And what we did is we actually created a new collection. So let me show you that right now. And the new collection that we made is called multi reference categories. Now, these are the categories that we're going to nest inside both of these collections. You see, we have two separate collections. We have this one, which is what we call the FinSuite product for Webflow. And then we have this one, which is called we called FinSuite pictures. And I created a multi-reference category CMS collection. In this one, I just put three simple things. I put Android, Microsoft, and Apple. I guess I'm, you know, just pretending that uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like um, put there like what what uh, is as a software compatible with. Like you ever see those things where it's like compatible with Apple and Microsoft? Um, I just think and thought of three things, and I'm not saying that these. Uh, uh, items can only work with these certain um, softwares, but are certain programs, but you get what I mean. This is just all made up, okay? So we went ahead and created this multi reference category. It's really simple as you click it, it's just the name. That's it. That's all it is. Now you can add more things as well. You can add color and all that stuff, but we're just making it simple. It's just the name. And then I actually added these multi reference categories to the other items that we have, which is the FinSuite pictures and the FinSuite products for Webflow. So if you look over here um, on the FinSuite pictures, we have, we put two things. We put the multi-reference and notice here I put all three things. So it shows as if it's compatible with these three things. Um, I put these three items, the Apple, Microsoft, and Android. And then you actually, this is very important, make sure you put it as a text as well. So we added two items in this FinSuite pictures, which is a multi-reference and a multi-ref text and then once you get to the item well then it's just pretty much the reference and then put it in text and you separate it by commas the reason why we need this is this is where we're going to pull the text from in order to put it on the collection and or it signifies what goes into what collection so uh, we have right here it's just the same as the top but separated by commas okay and we have the same way here in FinSuite products as well where we have compatible with, and then the, the text with separate by commas, and we have it in these other ones as well, and we have a very a variation of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put in the um, the nested collection inside this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the items into the collection itself. So we're going to start with this collection. And we are going to add a container inside. I'm going to add a div block right at the very bottom of this product right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this multi ref container. And this is a very important name to remember. It is a very important class to remember because we're going to put this on the other one as well. And we're going to put this on Visual Script Writer. And we don't have to do anything with this one. We can just leave it blank as it is. And we're actually not going to connect it to anything as well. All we have to do, what I want to do is I'm going to make it a flex container. And I'm going to make it align 
center and that's all I'm going to do. Um, I would like it to flatten up a bit. So what I'm going to do is actually just put this zero and it kind of flattens it there. Wait, if I just put this at zero, make it zero, it should flatten up. I guess it's not. That's fine. We're just really going to leave this as is. We don't need to do anything there. And then the next thing that we're doing, we're going to add some text underneath this. So let's add a text block underneath this multi-ref container. And we're going to grab this text from the multi-ref text that we created. So we'll go ahead and put that there, multi-ref text. Now we also need to name this as well. So we're going to name this multi ref text multi hyphen ref hyphen text and make sure that uh, you remember this name because we're going to put this in the visual script writer as well and right now it's going to be shown uh, just really just for reference but later on we're going to hide this okay and I'm trying to figure out why this one so far will not uh, flatten I'm going to make the height there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Auto. So we'll just uh, so really it's there. If you see it, it's there, but it's, it doesn't have anything in there. So what's going to happen is uh, this indicates that the um, that the multi reference categories are going to go to this particular item, and then this is where it's going to um, input. So this is going to be substituted with the, those multi reference categories that we're about we're going to make. So what we're going to do we're going to actually going to we're going to put this on this one as well. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to put it here. And then we'll pretty much do the same thing on the other collection. Cause remember we're doing two collections. You see, if it was only, if it were only one collection, we wouldn't need to do this. We wouldn't really need this tool, but because we're doing two collections that have this, we're going to need to do this. And so we're going to add another text here. Okay. And then this text, We'll also, once again, we're going to name the style multi ref text, and we're going to get the text from the multi ref text that we created. And there you go. We have all these items so far. We're pretty much done with working with this collection. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add another container underneath, and this is where we're going to, we're going to put the multi reference categories collection, and we're just going to style it, and then we're going to hide it later so well let me minimize this so we have some space to work with here so we don't get confused and then we're going to go ahead and add a new container now <clears throat> i'm going to go ahead and put a div block here let me see we're going to put a div block there actually we don't need to put a div block we can just put the collection this wrapper already so we're going to go ahead and um add a collection list so let's do this right and then we're going to name it i'm going to name this one multi collection now this supporter we're going to name this because we're actually going to hide this later so let's go ahead and get the source for this one get the source and it will be the new cms collection that uh, we created beforehand which is the multi reference categories so we'll go ahead and click this right here and we'll just leave it at that. Now, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and add something in here. We'll add some text in a bit, but we're going to name these styles first. Now, the, the collection list wrapper, we named it multi collection. The collection list, we're actually going to name it multi reference. Now, this is an important one to remember as well, especially when we get to Visual Script Writer. And then we're going to name this one multi ref item multi ref item okay now we're going to go ahead and add something in here we're going to add a text block just a simple text block and this is actually going to be the items that we're going to put inside the collection the multi reference items so we'll put that there oh we yeah, add to each collection item oh okay never mind we we'll have to put it here there you go. <laughs> Put it there. Webflow's being uh, picky with me today. 
We're going to grab this text. We're going to get the text from the name. Simple as that, just the name. And there we have our three names, Android, Microsoft, and Apple. We are going to style it because this is what we're going to show once it gets over here. So I'm going to do some styling here a little bit. And we'll go ahead and make it the font that we've been having, which is Montserrat. Montserrat. We're going to make it semi-bold. And I'm going to add a background, which is more like a light gray. Just like that. And then we're going to add some padding. So why don't we add five pixels on top, five pixels on the bottom, and maybe around 15 pixels on each side. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead and make the radius rounded. There. Okay. Now, this is a way too long. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to put it to this. Okay. And this... Um, is uh inline block so that it's more you know condensed and not doesn't take up the whole container but really just this and now that we have this we're actually going to go ahead and add some margin on the right because the reason why remember the container that we created here let me show you that the container that we created here where is that right here we made it a flex box remember that so we want they're going to be in line so then I'm going to add some margin on the right side of each multi-ref item. And maybe just add around 10 pixels on the right. That's it. And then we'll just leave it at that. Now, we're going to go ahead and click Publish. So far, so it's kind of, you know, save what we created so far. And then we're going to go to the Visual Script Writer. Now we have our elements all built out, and we're really just going to start connecting them. Go to the Visual Script Writer, which is your best friend, and then we're going to put the CMS List class. Now, this is the main collection list, the one that we're actually going to be showing. And if you've seen the past videos, the past tutorials, we've always named it Collection-List. And then we're going to go ahead and click the Nest tool. And then the first of all is the text list. Now, the text list would be this one right here where we're grabbing the text where we're um, where it's indicating that this is where this text is going to be placed. So the name of this style was the class name was multi ref text. So we're going to put right here multi ref text and make sure you get everything correct. Every hyphen, every letter has to be correct or else it's not going to work. Now we'll go to the nest source. The nest source is this part right here the multi reference, which is where it's going to be grabbing these um, text blocks that we created. So we're going to go ahead and name put multi reference here. So this is the, the indicator of what text will go inside the collection, the physical collection, the visible collection. And then the nest source is where we're going to be grabbing the styles, the words that we created. And then the nest target Notice it's called target. It's really the that that little container that we built. That's where we're gonna put it. Okay. And this was called multi ref container. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. I love that since we created this Visual Script Writer, it makes this so much easier. And so we'll copy this code. Copy the code. And then go to the page, which is nest that we have it right here. And we're going to go ahead and paste the code on the before body tag. And then we'll click save. And then we'll go ahead and publish it. And then hopefully it works. These things always make me nervous for some reason. We'll go ahead and click this icon right here. And notice we already have our um uh the multi-reference categories right here now let's do some fixes okay as you notice it's showing the indicators it doesn't have the 20 pixels the 10 pixels that we wanted to put a while ago and it's also showing this so it's not clean well simple fix what we're gonna do is this multi-ref text we're gonna hide it and in this one so instead of the multi-ref item that will have margins. We're going to just put it on the text block itself. 
we're going to put a 10 pixel text box on the right side. And then we're also going to hide this whole collection. We're just going to hide this whole collection and publish it. And once we click it, and there we go. Notice we have this all CMS. Once you have this set, you can go ahead and make your modifications, make your changes, add some more, and it will automatically show up. And we have it multiple times. We have it on this collection, and we have it on this collection as well. Now, there are other uh, things that you can do with this. You can search through both of them, filter through both of them, combine them. I encourage you to check out the How to Clonable um, that, web, that FinScreen has created so that you can learn some more on how to implement these. And I hope that you learned easily how to use the Nest tool. If you still have any questions or any problems setting up this tool, make sure you check out sweetjs.io and I encourage you to join the Slack channel that we have for customer service. Pretty much you can contact the FinSuite team for any questions that you may have for any of the tools that FinSuite has to offer. And make sure you stick around for more content, more videos, more tutorials that we have coming up for all of the tools that FinSuite has to offer for the Webflow community. That's effing sweet.